Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And let's talk about uh, the stock market, a possible re recession, and if it's going to affect uh, employment. You know, is it going to affect my employment or your employment? So. Do you all know what this is from? <laughs> Great movie. Great flippin' movie, man. Put in the comments if you know. It only takes one person. Because <laughs> then everyone else will know. But yeah, fantastic movie. Okay, so I don't know if you follow the stock market. Not doing so well as of December 20th. This is the S&P 500. Well, specifically, this is the ETF, uh, which follows the S&P. And this is year to date. This is what's happened this year. At the beginning of the year, it had climbed up. It's been doing great for the past uh, eight years since Obama was in office. Now, I'm not, not going to get into politics. I'm wasn't really an Obama supporter, but I can't deny that the market did really well under his watch. Uh, but anyway, it encountered a correction here at the end of, I wish this stupid thing wouldn't show up here, um, at the end of January and fell down within February, climbed back up, kind of bounced around, fell back down and tested tested this correction usually it, it it retests that bottom to see if it's going to break it and if it doesn't then typically it does this it goes up of course all these dips all have to do with the trade war um, the stuff with China Trump's stupid tweets not all of them are dumb but Sometimes he needs to learn to keep his mouth shut. Um, uh, this, some of this also had to do with interest rates being raised. But the fourth time interest rates were raised right here, it fell. And it went up, fell down even lower. Okay, The same thing happened over here. Then it went back up, just like it did over here. It fell back down and retested. Went back up, but then look at it. Whoops, you can't see it. Hold on. Try that again. Okay, so it went down, up, retested, up. It's hitting this support line. It was not breaking it. But then it went down, hit that same support, and then broke through. This is not a good sign. This right here is not a good sign. Chances are it'll it'll bounce back up, but then it will probably fall again. Who knows if it's going to fall further? It's really hard to say at this point. Um, although technically they say it's not a bear market, I feel that it is a bear market. I mean, this you look at this uh, this looks like more than a correction i mean this is a correction this is a retest but this i don't know i have another video about this uh but anyway let's take a look at this um jonathan clements this gentleman says a year ago i was worried about the stock market today i'm concerned about the job market uh, let's see, 2017, he had penned an article about best investment, 2018, uh, blah, 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 limits on itemized deductions, putting it all together. Since then, the S&P 500 has dipped modestly. Okay, a year ago, S&P companies, it, yeah, I'm not, who cares about this? We want to learn about the whole jobs thing. 
uh, historical records and to be sure blah 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 does that mean the recent market turmoil has run its course I have no clue there are people that think they have a clue they don't <laughs> uh, hey I, maybe I don't have a clue I don't know I'm not a professional at any of this stuff indeed when it comes to stocks I find myself firmly on the fence on the one hand we haven't seen anything that looks like a mar market bottom there's been no revealing of financial success. See, this kind of looked like it was a market bottom, but then it fell even lower. Um, no horrendous decline in stock prices, no relentless declarations, blah, blah. That brings me to the question everybody seems to be asking. Will the economy weaken? The financial markets appear to think so. The stock and bond markets are suggesting that a recession could be in the offing. Offing. It's a weird word. This is from Market Watch, by the way. I get, I checked, I, I watch the markets daily for the most part, um, and I do some testing with it too. Uh, if so, I look at Market Watch um, almost every day, not every day, but almost. If the economy does indeed weaken, the big war for many families won't be the stock market. After all, only half of Americans even own stocks and stock funds. Instead, the top concern for most Americans will be the job market. I will tell you, um, in regards to stocks, it's not a bad idea to earn stocks, especially stocks that will give you dividends. Um, when you're seeing something like this, these are good points to buy stock. Just don't buy a lot of them. Find a company that you like. Um, check to see if it's, you know, check to see if there's an, a, an uptrend for one and that it's a strong company. Apple, for example, is a strong company. It's not doing so well at the moment, but then again, the tech sector is not doing that great. But you could buy five shares, you know, even one share. You, slowly build your portfolio when you see dips like this buy a few shares if it dips further like what it has here buy a few more um, think of it as a sale you know something goes on sale uh, let's say milk goes on sale or something you know and it's a uh, dollar fifty you know as opposed to two bucks you know you buy some milk it drops down further now it's a now it's a buck or wow you know you can get some more milk or something so it's okay to buy stock don't be afraid of that just don't get crazy and buy like 100 200 shares you know unless it costs like a dollar a share <laughs> and uh there are some uh companies out there that cost a dollar a share i'm looking at you jc penny <sighs> disappointment I would love to, I did earn, I did have stock in JCPenney at one point, and it took several months before it finally turned a profit, and I sold that sucker while I had the chance, and then it just, it was like around four bucks a share, and then it just, whoop. now it's only a dollar, it's like a dollar nineteen. Uh, let's see, we're now at 3.7 unemployment, down to 10% down from I mean this is good they say like good news is bad news for the stock market is is typically what they say so when employment is better it's like the stock market does worse it's weird but in case the folks there have it all wrong there's good news you might have 12 months or more to prep your finances for rough times how come the stock market is a leading indicator it starts falling before the economy contracts and it rallies before a recession is over by contrast unemployment is a lagging indicator companies are slow to shed workers when the economy turns sluggish they're also slow to rehire when economic growth resumes worried you could lose your job in the next economic downturn the obvious move is to stockpile cash now this is something that I mentioned on one of my flight simulator videos um, as of recently. Uh, it was Flight Simulator 3. Uh, so you can check it if you're... Oh, no, I, I still have it sitting here. Um, 
always have an emergency fund, at least $1,000 in the bank where you can't touch it. And do not use it unless it is an absolute emergency that you can't survive without it. That doesn't mean go and buy something. That means like you lost your job or, you know. But also have cash, okay? Have cash, hide it, you know. Hide it where you can't get to it easily in the house or anyone else will find it uh, because you never know if banking systems go down you can't get to your money so be sure that you've got cash on hand as an emergency set aside not where you can easily you know get to it but at least know where it's at but also have an emergency fund in the bank and so that is very important I think just be smart about it because if someone breaks into your house you don't want them taking your cash get rid of credit card debt yeah I totally agree get rid of your credit card debt you don't want to be you don't want to owe credit card companies it sucks they're loan sharks let's be honest they're loan sharks and they're ruthless um, what if you later need cash because you got laid off while not advisable? You can always reborrow from your credit cards. At, don't. Because if you try to get it, they, they, oh man, they, uh, they slam you with interest rates if you take cash out. So get rid of the credit card debt. Get yourself an emergency fund. Have, have the money in your bank. Try to do it as quickly as you can. Pay off 401k loans. If you lose your job, any 401k loans must be repaid right away. Uh, don't have the necessary cash. The unpaid loan becomes taxable distribution, triggering income taxes and tax penalties. I'm not a big fan of 401k loans because all that is is you're giving your money to someone else to manage and they buy all kinds of stocks and some are good, some are not, you know, and, you don't have much control over it. Me personally, I would rather just build my own portfolio and manage it myself by the companies that I want. So I don't like 401ks. Keep funding the 401k, especially if it comes from a matching employer contribution. Now that I can understand why some people go with a 401k because they'll put money into it and the employer will match it. So I can understand that. Um, some don't <laughs> if you're with an employer that does not do any matching that's my that's my thought um so let's see even about even if about of unemployment forces you to dip into your retirement account you'll likely come out ahead because the matching contribution you could you collect could be worth more than any tax penalty you pay Fund a Roth rather than a tax-deductible IRA. If you need cash, you can withdraw the dollars you contributed to your Roth with no taxes or penalties owed. I don't know much about IRA, IRAs or Roths. Um, when I do my taxes, I do it through H&R um, Block. I don't go there. I use their software. And I see that mentioned with Roths and IRAs, um, I just don't have enough money to actually do as much as I'd like to do. Set up a home equity line of credit. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. We have one. No, don't do that. Calculate your fixed living costs. So you, yeah, do that. <laughs> know where your money's going. So you know the minimum sum you need to make it through each month. While you're at it, ponder whether there's any way to cut those fixed costs. If you don't have a paycheck coming in, you want to do everything possible to limit the dollars going out. Um, and that's something that you can consider when you're setting an emergency fund together. Think about how much it's costing you per month to pay your basic bills, and then try to save up, at least get the thousand dollars. But if you can add to that and have like maybe three months 
worth of money set aside to pay bills if by chance it takes that long to get a job then at least you'll be taken care of think hard before taking on new financial obligations for instance you might want to keep your current car for a few more years if your job is at risk this probably isn't the best time to take on a car loan or use your spare cash to buy a new vehicle yes yeah, set your spare cash to the side um, yeah so man I wish our car was at 4% but anyway what Talia oh bless you yeah so anyway um, that's this article uh, I know when the stock market goes down values of companies uh, go down and then they start trying to find a ways to cut uh, they companies don't care you know they don't care about the employee at all um, that is just corporate America that's just how it is it sucks you know um, your hard work and dedication to a company doesn't seem to mean squat um, these days so anyway that is uh, my whole thing on this uh, let me know what you think um, whether you agree with me or this or whether you don't it's okay let me know in the comments let's have an interesting discussion um, other than that thanks for watching and I will see you on the next rambling video. Did you like this video? Well, you might like some of these others. I've got tons of them on a variety of different topics. They are just down-to-earth conversations of things that happen to be going on at the time of recording. Subscribing is an awesome thing, too, because it notifies you of any new video uploaded. Thanks for watching, and we'll ramble again soon.